Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on Liz the One. I'm your girl, Liz the One, and I got some steaming hot coffee for y'all. It's probably going to piss you off a little bit. But Kanye West is still in the sunken place. Um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, make sure you subscribe to my channel. But like I said, Kanye West is still in the sunken place. I know the title doesn't surprise you. Saturday, uh, Kanye West performed on Saturday Night Live in a MAGA or Make America Great Again hat. He gave a pro-Trump rant and got booed. He gave a very, very lengthy speech from what I'm reading about Trump, which did not get aired. But Kanye's sunken place mental retardation did not end there. Kanye went on to tweet, this represents good and America becoming again whole. We will no longer outsource. Um, he says we will no longer outsource to other countries. We will build factories here in America and create jobs. We will provide jobs for all who are free from prisons as as we abolish the 13th Amendment, the 13th Amendment message of love. Now. Let me explain to you guys what the 13th Amendment is. This is the amendment that was written to abolish slavery. Basically, the 13th Amendment in Section 1 states, neither slavery nor neither slavery or involuntary servitude except as punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted shall exist within the United States or any any place subject to their jurisdiction. In other words, unless you're in prison, slavery or involuntary servitude is illegal and abolished, or is it? And I'm asking you this as a question. We know about America's prison industrial complex where mostly black men are wrong, wrongfully imprisoned because of the amendment. It, you know, you have to read it and read it with comprehension because it's one thing to know how to read, but it's another to read with comprehension. So basically, the part that says, except as punishment for a crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted. So you can be falsely accused of damn near anything, especially if you got the right skin color, you know, and you can be duly convicted of anything, especially if you have the right skin color. So abolishing the 13th Amendment would allow you to be set back, sent back to chains, not even needing the piece of paper, or something such as the 13th Amendment, you know. Um, it would just make it so much easier, you know, and then basically what I'm saying is I, I feel like we should stop supporting Kanye West. Well, I mean, I haven't supported him since <laughs> since he really started dating Kim Kardashian, um, because I feel like he's just worthless at this point. And I feel like his only great album to me was College Dropout. Some may beg to differ. But another tweet that he put up there, the being formerly known as Kanye West, I am ye. Um, he keeps, you know, posting stuff like no more cancel culture. But do you think that we should cancel Kanye West's support for his su support of Donald Trump? Listen, I am all for talking to Donald Trump because he is the president, whether you like it or not. However, I am for uh, the elected politicians that we elected, like Maxine Waters or Cory Booker. There are a lot of black politicians that Donald Trump could sit down with. But for some odd reason to make a mockery of black people, he could, he keeps putting up people like Steve Harvey and Kanye West, um, like for photo ops, basically <laughs> like this is who represents us. And it's not OK. It's really not OK. We have lawyers. Um, we have elected politicians that we've elected, duly elected, lots of them. There are a lot of black people in the Congress and in the Senate. Well, not so much in the Senate, but mainly in Congress that could represent us and represent our interest and for some odd reason he's overlooking them and um i feel like this is just a circus that you know he keeps calling up people like kanye west steve harvey you know to just and these pastors you know i'm not knocking pastors because you know i'm a christian um i will tote that loud and proud even though i you know say some bad language from time to time but i feel like they can't do anything We've elected certain politicians for a reason. And this, him putting these people up there is just basically to mock us and to make us look bad. Like, this is all we can do. So, I mean, I see straight through it, but you let me know what you think down in the comment section. But make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm Liz the One. Thanks for clicking on my channel. Peace out.